Bernio Maria is an Italian comedy film directed by Giorgio Panariello. The movie revolves around the character of Francesco, played by Panariello himself, who is a young and naive man struggling to find love and success in his life. Francesco works as a waiter at a luxurious hotel where he encounter various eccentric and demanding guest he dreams of becoming a famous comedian and winning the heart of his beautiful colleague julia however his lack of confidence and comedic talent holds him back one day francesco life takes an unexpected turn when he stumbles upon a secret love formula in an old book the formula involves heating up the body by sitting in a hot tub known as banno maria in order to enhance one's charm and attractiveness Francesco decide to give it a try believing it could be the key to winning over Julia and achieving his dreams as Francesco starts implementing the Bagno Marina technique hilarious and unpredictable situation arise he finds himself getting involved with various character in the hotel including a wealthy businessman a seductive guest and a strict hotel manager each encounter bring new challenges and comedic mishap throughout the film francesco learns valuable life lessons about self confidence love and the importance of staying true to oneself with each banyo maria session he gains more confidence and starts to win the heart of those around him including julia banyo maria is a light hearted comedy that combine romantic element with humor it explore themes of self discovery personal growth and the pursuit of dreams the film's comedic situation and lively performances make it an entertaining watch for italian cinema enthusiast preparation are in full swing in Pietra Santa for the annual end of summer party and it is in this context that the adventures of pop particular subjects intersect Merigo is a pleasant man in his 40s with a passion for wine and bicycle upon the target of petty jokes by his friends at the bar The film opens with one of these in which the object of the joke as usual is his beloved bicycle. Merigo will then be persuaded to go and collect a hundred bottles of Brunello di Montalcino. But even behind this request there is a joke. The family that lives on the farm where Merigo will have to collect the famous wine has in fact recently been struck by mourning since the elderly father who was Brunello by name has died Returning from the farm after a hilarious series of misunderstandings In Merigo the bike will actually be stolen by Simon and the one put up for grabs 
in the lottery of the party by Livorno the mechanic will be won by the same who however in agreement with the friends of the bar he will then decide to give it to Merigo Pierre is the mayor's son a night owl and the slacker a PR profession and in constant conflict with his father because of his lifestyle the young man will try to redeem himself together with his clubbing friends by organizing a surprise village party already prepared by his father to please his constituents Initially the father is furious about the surprise party but then when he sees that everyone especially the young people cheers him for the success of the show the contrast between father and son will dissolve Simon is a lively and pestiferous child who escapes for the umpteenth time from the summer camp run by the nuns in which he was staying how wandering led him to meet a young and beautiful sailor of donat mara with whom he falls in love to the point of following her for the whole day having the habit of leaving every person with whom he has an argument upside down he will be tormented by the vigilant rodolfo mara's husband who will try in vain to bring him back to the colony mario is the lifeguard of banyo maria the historic bathing establishment managed by mrs bais who however fell into disgrace due to the ruthless competition of the neighboring banyo 2000 considerably more modern and comfortable monitored by the russian lifeguard boris a mountain of muscles with which Mario will immediately enter competition the heavy investment that would be needed to avoid the closure of the Banyo Maria seem to make Mrs. Bais lean toward the cell of the establishment but Mario will then be the one to propose a way to prevent this from happening a free diving challenge with boris the challenge is won by mario who however does not reemerge the rescuers will look for him throughout the night without finding him senora bais throws a rose into the sea for mario who is believed to be dead but in the end he emerges very alive from the water exclaiming that he has dodged off the four protagonist of the film all played by panariello are some of the characters on which the tuscan comedian based his shows in those years critics however severely rejected the film relying on the belief that the film adaptation of this sketch is has not had the desired effect panariello also received the nomination for worst actor during the 1999 edition of the pscd oro Banyo Maria is an Italian comedy film directed by Giorgio Panariello. 
The film follows the story of five couples who gather at a remote countryside village to spend a weekend together. The central theme of the film revolves around the misunderstandings, secret and comedic situation that arise during their time together. The couples consist of various characters with their unique quirks and relationship dynamics. Silvio and Mariana. Silvio is a wealthy businessman while Mariana in his young and beautiful wife are hosting the gathering at the villa. Renzo and Giovanna. Renzo is a middle-aged man who works as a mechanic and Giovanna is his devoted and loving wife. Maurizio and Julia. Maurizio is a bumbling and clumsy man while Julia is his attractive but short-tempered wife. Angelo and Katia. Angelo is a comedian and Katia is his pregnant wife. Pio and Carmen. Pio is a fitness enthusiast and Carmen is his glamorous and materialistic wife. As the couple settle into the villa, a series of misunderstandings and mishap occur. These include mistaken identities, romantic encounters, and secrets being revealed. The interaction between the characters lead to comedic situations and conflict, creating a light-hearted and entertaining atmosphere. Throughout the film, the couples navigate their relationships, confront their insecurities, and learn valuable lessons about love, trust, and communication. The story unfolds with humor, wit, and a touch of romance, offering an amusing portrayal of the complexities of human relationships. Banyo Maria presents a comedic and light-hearted take on the dynamics between couples, highlighting the universal themes of love, laughter, and the challenges of maintaining a healthy relationship. September Late Summer Days in Vasilia Some local characters move between the beach and the narrow street of the center. Mario, the lifeguard of the Banyo Maria, listened to the complaint of the customers about the ever-increasing shortcoming of the establishment. While nearby, the Banyo 2000 offers high-level structures and offers that attract more and more people. Bais, the owner, is now determined to sell to the competition, but Mario, in an extreme attempt, launches a challenge to Boris the opposing lifeguard as to who can stay underwater the longest. Boris resurfaces first. Mario never come to the surface and seems to have drowned. In the village, a group of friends plays a good joke on Mary Jo. The drunk with his inseparable bicycle. They convince him to go to a villa to collect the Brunello, that he believe wine and that he is instead a gentleman with that name who recently died. Then they steal his bicycle and then his friends arrange for him to take the flaming red 
one up for grabs in the lottery in the square. Pierre is the mayor's son. The father has organized the party in the square with singers and music from other times. When Pierre's group arrive at the last moment and with dancers and rap music revives the fortune of the evening. Finally, little Simon on the day of his return from the colony leaves the group, runs into a girl who sells donut on the beach, follows her home where he learns that she is married to the policeman Rodolfo. Therefore, after the party in the square, he is picked up by the nun of the colony. Then she makes herself invisible under his magical helmet. The main characters in the film are Andrea, Arturo, Paolo and Vittorio. They are all struggling financially and come up with the idea of starting a catering service to make some extra money. They decide to focus on providing food for weddings and other special events. However, the friends face various challenges as they try to establish their business. They encounter difficult clients, demanding customers and unexpected obstacles that make their journey quite chaotic and hilarious. One of the challenges they face is when they mistakenly serve food meant for funeral at a wedding. The guests are disgusted and furious, leading to a chaotic situation. They also struggle with mishap in the kitchen, like burning food or using the wrong ingredients. As the story progresses, the parents find themselves in increasingly absurd situation. They get involved in a mix-up with a mafia boss and a stolen diamond. This complicates their lives even further and adds a layer of danger to their misadventures. Throughout the film, Banyo Maria explores the dynamics between the four friends. Their personalities clash at times, but they remain loyal to each other, supporting and encouraging one another during the challenging times. As the climax of the film approaches, the friends must find a way to overcome all the obstacles they face and deliver a successful catering service. The film combines humor, friendship and a touch of romance as the characters navigate the way through the chaotic event. Banyo Maria is known for its light-hearted comedy, witty dialogue and entertaining performances. It offers a comedic exploration of friendship entrepreneurship and the absurdities of life. Banyo Maria received mixed to positive reviews from critics. The film was praised for its comedic elements, light-hearted tone and the chemistry between the main cast. The performances of Giorgio Panariello Paolo Villeggio and Carlo Bussiroso were particularly highlighted as they brought humor and energy to their respective roles. Critics also appreciated the film's ability to capture the essence of Italian humor 
and its use of situational comedy the chaotic event misunderstandings and misadventure that the characters face were seen as entertaining and amusing on the other hand some critics felt that the film relied too heavily on slapstick humor and gags which could be hit or miss for some viewers the plot was also criticized for being somewhat predictable and lacking depth overall bernio maria was generally considered an enjoyable comedy that provided light hearted entertainment while it may not have been ground breaking or critically acclaimed it found an audience who appreciated its humor and the performances of the cast keep in mind that individual opinions may vary and it's always a good idea to watch the film yourself to form your own judgment and see if it align with your personal taste Bernio Maria is an Italian comedy film directed by Giorgio Panariello. The movie revolves around the character of Francesco played by Panariello himself who is a young and naive man struggling to find love and success in his life. Francesco works as a waiter at a luxurious hotel where he encounter various eccentric and demanding guests he dreams of becoming a famous comedian and winning the heart of his beautiful colleague julia however his lack of confidence and comedic talent holds him back one day francesco life takes an unexpected turn when he stumbles upon a secret love formula in an old book the formula involves heating up the body by sitting in a hot tub known as banno maria in order to enhance one's charm and attractiveness Francesco decide to give it a try believing it could be the key to winning over Julia and achieving his dreams as Francesco starts implementing the Bagno Marina technique hilarious and unpredictable situation arise he finds himself getting involved with various character in the hotel including a wealthy businessman a seductive guest and a strict hotel manager each encounter bring new challenges and comedic mishap throughout the film francesco learns valuable life lessons about self confidence love and the importance of staying true to oneself with each banno maria session he gains more confidence and starts to win the heart of those around him including julia banno maria is a light hearted comedy that combine romantic element with humor it explores themes of self discovery personal growth and the pursuit of dreams the film's comedic situation and lively performances make it an entertaining watch for italian cinema enthusiast preparation are in full swing in Pietra Santa for the annual end of summer party and it is in this context 
that the adventures of pop particular subjects intersect Merigo is a pleasant man in his 40s with a passion for wine and bicycle often the target of petty jokes by his friends at the bar the film opens with one of these in which the object of the joke as usual is his beloved bicycle